The power of the mind is incredible. You can think yourself into a complete depression. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery and frustration. There are so much power in the mind that what we even care to realize. Change your mind and decide to love yourself and not to allow yourself with people and situations that can have your mind take you down into the abyss and into the darkness where there is loneliness and self-pity. Avoid negative people on social media totally. Avoid responding to negativity. Focus your energy on those who are positive. Words are extremely, extremely powerful and you create your own future, your reality and your own destiny. Never ever use phrases like this is killing me or this is making me sick. Although lighthearted, those are actually objective commands that are stirring energy in motion to give you what you spoke out. Negativity attracts negative people, negative situations, negative circumstances, and it works like this. If you want to know where you will be in five years from today, listen to what you say. If you constantly say, I cannot get out of debt, then you'll still be in debt in five years from now. If you say, I am successful, I have a great marriage, I have the best friends, I am out of debt, you will have those things coming to you faster than what you think. The thought that is in you stays there until it's been spoken out and once spoken will become complete reality. That's why we need to keep every thought captive because our thoughts create and become us in the future. Only state positive affirmations and positive thoughts and totally avoid negativity and negative people. I was born in South Africa and many of you know this. I grew up in an orphanage. At the age of five years old, my sister and I had to cut the boiled egg in half and she had the option to choose the larger side. That's the only meal we had for the day. We took brown bread and dipped it in Coca-Cola just to eat it to take our hunger pains away. At the age of 12 years old, I realized one thing. I have my thoughts, my mind, and nobody can take this away from me. But I've also got a powerful tool. And if I close my eyes, I can move myself into a Y. I can move myself into Alaska catching fish. I can move myself onto any beach in the entire world. I can go back a million years ago when dinosaurs lived on Earth. I can walk amongst them. I can also move myself in the future and see myself where I want to be in five years and 10 years and 20 years from today. And at the age of 12 years old, I decided that I'm going to test this for one year and I wanted to become the best student in school. And at the age of 13, one year later, I achieved my goals. I then realized that I'm 13 years old and what I visualized a year ago became true. I then said to myself, I'm in this orphanage. The only thing I have is my mind and my thoughts. And I then started visualizing myself as being the best special forces soldier ever in the world. Although I was a skinny kid at that time, five years later, I achieved that goal. At the age of 19, I became one of the best special forces soldiers in South Africa, a highly decorated lieutenant in the South African special forces serving at one parachute battalion in South Africa. I served under two presidents, being President Nelson Mandela, the last president. After my military career, I decided I want to go to America and study there. My goals got achieved. I then went and worked in the oil and gas industry and became one of the world's most sought after consultants in the oil and gas industry. I'm not telling you this to brag. I'm telling you this. If I, with my limited resources, growing up in an orphanage, been ridiculed by my own family, ridiculed by even people that adopted me, if I could stand up from my circumstances, and became a person that chased my goals and achieved my goals. If I could do it, you can do it too. And remember, along the way, it's not just going to be high flying and achieving all your goals. There is going to be obstacles, and I had many obstacles along my path to success. 
you are going to overcome those obstacles. You are going to become a successful person in life. And if you are in cryptocurrencies, I wish you all the best because you deserve to become wealthy and debt free. And I speak it out over you. You are blessed. My name is Marius Landman, MariusLandman.com. Wish you the best day ever.